I saw a heartbreaking case here in the Bay Area. A one-year-old baby is killed, allegedly at the hands of her mother's boyfriend. Enrico Adams is now standing trial, charged with murder. But the defense says he had nothing to do with the baby's death, and they are now pointing the finger at someone else. And Fox 13's Gloria Gomez shows us who that is. Prosecutors say Enrico Adams did the unthinkable. He beat a one-year-old baby to death while in his care. Injuries like that with no other explanation as to how they can occur can occur from a punch, from a kick, slamming a 17-month-old up against something, or sitting on them. Adams is now on trial charged with first-degree murder and aggravated child abuse. Back on November 30th of 2019, Adams was dating the child's mother. That afternoon, she headed to a laundromat, leaving the baby with Adams at her apartment complex in Tampa. When she returned home a couple of hours later, the baby was already in his crib sleeping. However, the next morning, panic set in. The baby wasn't waking up. The mother called 911. Law enforcement arrives, attempts to perform CPR on this little 17-month-old body that was cold and stiff. Baby Jamarcus Howard was dead. An autopsy revealed severe blunt force trauma to the baby's abdomen and vital organs. His right and left kidneys had hemorrhages, which is bleeding. His liver had hemorrhages. Adams admitted to being alone with the child, but denied ever hurting him. There's not a single witness that the state's going to call. Not one that saw this happen. The defense then turned the tables, accusing the baby's mother of abuse and pointing to a text message where she threatened to punch the baby. Adams, they said, did nothing wrong. This is a case of no evidence, circumstantial assumptions, and unreliable medical evidence. A jury will soon decide if that's true. Gloria Gomez, Fox 13 News. Adam's trial is expected to wrap up by the end of the week.